COVID-19 vaccines are safe, effective and free, but there are still many questions and misconceptions surrounding them. We sat down with Dr. Jim Comez, who explains to us exactly how the vaccine works in our bodies. The most important uh, medical breakthrough in the 20th century were vaccines. So how do vac those vaccines work? So there's different types of vaccines. Uh, there's the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine, and then there's also the J&J &J vaccine. So let's start off with the J&J &J vaccine as I understand it. The J&J &J vaccine is like other vaccines that we've had before in that it is um, a disabled virus that is kind of deemed harmless and hopeless, but it is given uh, to, the, to, the, to the patient and then the immune system basically gets a head start and produces antibodies against that particular virus. And so that's how the kind of the J&J &J and other vaccines have worked. The mRNA is a new technology. It's been around for a while, but it's not from the vaccine world. It's relatively a, a new concept. And the mRNA vaccine, what it does is it, it it, it allows your own cells to produce the protein on the surface of that virus. Then your body uh, basically is primed and ready because they develop antibodies. And so the next time you get exposed to the real deal, it's kind of got like night vision goggles. It's already ready for the fight. It's got all its white blood cells are ready and armed. Um, and they, can, they have a clear-eyed view of, of the problem at hand. The risk of not getting the vaccine, getting COVID, and all the side effects that happen is exponentially higher. Uh, not only acutely in being hospitalized and having uh, heart problems and lung problems and strokes and blood clots, but also this term called long haulers. There's lots of people that don't come to the hospital that get COVID, that lose their sense of taste and smell for a long time, sometimes forever. There are patients that get COVID that don't come to the hospital that uh, have chronic shortness of breath for the rest of their life. It is true that you can still get COVID after vaccination, uh, but you're much less likely to come to the hospital and you're much less likely to die. When you don't get vaccinated and you get sick, and if you get really sick in the hospital and you call 911, that's one less ambulance for the other people. So do it for the people you go to church with. Do it for your neighbors. Do it for, do it for the rest of humanity. Uh, do it from a selfless perspective so that we can get through this. It's the only way out.